Oh my. Yeah, let's uh. Yeah, I liked when he said people who have kids should get an A. See if I can turn the lights on. I don't know, I fucking. And having the conversation is good. And yeah. I should have started this video after I. After I turn the uh. Let's qualify the name. Yeah. After I turn the lights. On. Yeah, exactly, man. Talk is cheap. I mean, I hold on a second. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I'm not gonna do that with you guys. That's fucking weird. Well, what the hell? Well, what the hell? Um, I might as well smoke a cigarette. I don't think I'm allowed to smoke cigarettes in my apartment. See what? See what? Uh, shit does to you, man. Um, it's crazy. I just I don't really don't like uh being a part of the crowd. I guess I don't like being a part of the mentally ill. I don't like dealing with my mental illness. That's what I don't like doing. Um, I don't like being responsible for, for my assets. I like everything to be a liability and that's really a problem. Um, if I, if I could actually have like a conversation with you people, I'd probably say something along the lines of, uh, like I agree or, uh, just some, yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the fakest of the fake vegans out there or the fakest fake be- vegetarian. You know, I've, my mom's been vegetarian like 50 years of her life and, she didn't raise me into it. It was not something that she was forcing upon me at all. Um, she was, but she is a real vegetarian. I can, you know, I was watching that movie with, uh, I was watching that movie with, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in it. Um, with like the bear attack or whatever. I forget what it was called. Just, some good movie, you know, but this bear, um, was attacking Leonardo DiCaprio and, uh, LD and, uh, my mom had just like totally said something humane, like, you know, don't hurt the animals and everything like that. So, I mean, my whole thing is just like, whoa, I just, I just say you eat cheese and you support the dairy industry and those dairy cows get slaughtered and all that stuff. And that's not good. That's not a good enough argument to, you know, really, uh, uh, stand up for, uh, I suppose when you're eating meat. Um, so you're eating meat and you're just saying that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, cause it's like, if you've been vegan for a week or something, you're not going to have any respect. Like I, you know, told some, told some, uh, recovering addicts like this other day in this halfway house, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, I don't know, Christian halfway house or something. Like I told him, you know, I'm vegan and it's like, Oh, Oh yeah. You really seem like you're vegan or something. So, um, yeah, you can't really get anything other than a subliminal shot. If you really haven't been vegan that long, uh, you know, I suppose it's that way with everything. I suppose the other, the other thing would be, um, you know, nothing is real. This is just a hologram and that's just, you know, um, like senior year of high school philosophy for me, you know, taking psychedelics or something, or uh, what am I going to college for? This is meaningless. Everything is meaningless. Just like the Bible says, you know, so I don't suppose, I mean, I might burn the Bible. Um, I've pissed on the Bible before. I didn't see anything really wrong with that ever in my life, unless I was just like holding it in, like, um, 
you know, it's like when you do, it's, it's like, you know, when you're guilty of something and you're trying to prove your innocence or you're only, you know, you're only guilt or you're, 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 you're only, it's like you're only innocent until you're proven guilty. Um, and you don't want to be innocent because you know, you did it and you know, you're guilty of it. So it's just like, you're in these social, these social, these social, these social situations and you're trying to like defract or deflect, um, your shortcomings and your insecurity of, you know, just trying to be more critical and more, uh, or less cruel, I should say more or less cruel in a way that am I going to inflict uh, thought into this meat eater, or this parent's uh, tradition, or am I going to look at my own uh, fault in that I am a torturous savage? So, yeah, there's a... Uh, There's a lot that goes into, you know, being mentally ill and not treating yourself or, you know, it's like, uh, going to these meetings without a sponsor. And so I don't know if anybody can relate to that, but probably not, but I guess antinatalism was really popular. It had like 21 views and now it has nine views. So I don't know what's up with that, but the antinatalism, um, is a pretty good argument for me. You know, I don't want to act like it's not something for real. I don't want to be as selfish as I have been in the past. Like, I don't want to have to, uh, just be in a relationship because my female friend can't get pregnant. Um, you know, I think there is, I think, you know, I think therefore it is true that this just wasn't made up like this science just, hasn't really tried to steer us wrong yet you know this biblical crap about how you can just be forgiven you know overnight pretty much is just such freaking crap so it's like when you actually do ejaculate or orgasm or something um well i wouldn't say orgasm because if you if you're a female and you masturbate and you orgasm that doesn't mean there was a seed planted in you but if you're fertile and you're ma and you're a male and you ejaculate supposedly your blame your your brain plays a trick on you like your um i mean this is the best argument for no fat for guys no fat for because women really shouldn't have been in that discussion just like women shouldn't be in MGTOW. but yet they're both like just complete uh scienceless you know uh topics or whatever floating around like trends or something as if like MGTOW and no fat were going to outlive philosophy so yeah, um, my thing on no fap is that when you ejaculate, you know, science says that your brain plays a trick on you, even if you didn't, even if you didn't get anything pregnant, but your, your biology is basically screaming, reproduce me, reproduce me. So when you ejaculate, it's actually... It's actually like, you know, something is reproducing out there. That's a, you know, a, a sleight of hand, you know, in religion because it's, well, you can't, you know, prove that. I mean, is that a theory? But no, like this brain chemistry and all of this stuff, like chemical imbalances and, and stuff that say, like, I need to provide a... Uh, Cause it's like when I do it and I go out to the world, it's just so whatever. Um, it's a bad topic and I'm immature and retarded. So, uh, you know, racist, but yeah, like, uh, I don't know. I shouldn't be smoking this cigarette in my, um, apartment. But yeah, I mean, Antinatalism is whether it's a philosophy or you know something like that. It's just not really uh, extracted enough. I don't think it. Uh, 
I don't think it repels any argument that says, well, we should do this otherwise. Like, well, why should we, you know, it's the conservatism, it's the conservatism that says, you know, this is all Satan and this pornography and all of this culture, this pop culture and this, this, uh, throwing up the pyramid, throwing up the, um, devil horns, like all of this stuff, all of this stuff, you know, well, white people throw up the devil horns and black people throw up the, um, pyramid and like all of this stuff, it just comes from having a desire to want to push humanity. So that's the way I see it. I mean, I can't really break that down, uh, like right now. So it's just all of this stuff, uh, you know, that I, I was, you know, processing like a while ago and I just never, uh, I never got around to it. I never, or I never came back to it. Um, so now that I have to deal with this mental illness issue, it's like, okay, this is actually for real. Cause it's like, I have a, uh, a like mechanical, um, barrier around me, you know, it is, it is true. Like you are more, uh, alpha when you're holding in your sperm and taking your medication, you know, as prescribed, you know, not this non-federally uh, endorsed way, you know, through marijuana. That's just, you know, I never uh, respected that, you know, you can't really respect that. You can't respect that in this time. You can't respect anything without some uh, form of money. So people aren't paying money for breeders to produce potheads. They're just not, they're, they're, uh, spending money and buying things with money and receiving money to breed, uh, people with, uh, or breed people into a world of mental illness and nicotine addiction. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that's a good point to make. That's a good, uh, it's a, or that's why antinatalism is a good, is, is a pro, you know, everything. Cause everything is not meaningless. You know, if everything was meaningless, we wouldn't have the ability to think. I mean, so, you know, I've been called on it called out on it and it's just like I don't want to have to stop I mean I want to see it as a compelling uh or I, I want to see it uh, fuck that word I want to see it as like substantial evidence that I need to pursue this I need to pay attention to this I need to avoid that I need to you know retract that statement you know I can't excuse me I can't be uh so so meaning, so meaningless that I'm not even here and so meaningful that I have to, you know, somehow save people because that's just, that's just fucking lame for real. It's just a lame excuse. It's just a lame excuse for why you're not a better person. Religion. John 316. Thou shall not kill. It's just... You know, so I guess this, uh, this video was about numerology or how many people out there have to say the something. Right? So, yeah, I mean, I can't pass my test either. So, you know, I mean, my test, I'm not even going to pass my test. I'm just kind of watching it. But you missed, you missed his karma spiel too, which we never got a chance to really uh, explore in depth. But it's the karma mixed with the numerology that was really interesting to me. Yeah, that you make your own numbers. You make your own numbers. Yeah, these numbers are like, okay, this is what you start with. But, you know, I wonder by, if, uh... <laughs> you know, by you doing numbers, you can change these numbers. So, you know, if you're a seven, you can become a four. No, no problem.
I'm not sure how many children he has, but he did mention he had a daughter or has a daughter yet. Yeah, I can't really say for sure. I was trying to send, trying to send and and mend him a a message, and you know, I I don't know how I came across his channel, especially ten years late. <laughs> it's like uh, just it's like the end of prohibition for me or something. You know, the prohibition against like trying to connive and be a bastard. So. I really, I, I don't know how I got, I don't know how it got through to me. Um, I could try to think something up, but it just, that's paranoia. And uh, yeah, it would be cool if I have some deja vu in the future. And it's just like, you know, this is how it manifested. So he has to rationalize what he's done, I suppose. Yeah, I guess that would be different. How old? So, uh, yeah, that daughter's, yeah. Yeah. Can't be smoked. 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 Can't be